Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you one simple tip that you can use to spice up any chord progression that you play, whether you're writing it or it's just something that you play and you want it to sound better. So let's dive into that right now. So when I was first learning guitar and I was playing open chords, I would play a whole bunch of chord progression exercises, right? And they get really boring after a while. But the thing that I noticed about them is every single one changed chords on beat number one of a new measure. So if we have a measure with four beats in it, so we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Right? Really simple, straightforward stuff. That's what most people end up doing. And then a lot of times beginners will think that you always change chords on beat one, but that is not always the case. So what we're gonna do is to spice things up instead of changing chords on beat number one, we're gonna change chords early. So we're gonna change on either beat number four or the and of four. If I just take a really common strum pattern that most people know like this. That's just down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, and, and four, and da, 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 digga, da, digga, da, digga, da, digga, da, digga, right? Now, if I just play that for one measure with each chord, and I'm just playing G, D, E minor, and C for one measure each, it'll sound like this. That sounds pretty standard. You'll hear that in tons of songs, but let's spice it up and let's change our chords on the and of four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change to D on the and of four. And then I'm gonna change to E minor on one, and then I'll change to C on the and of four as well. And so that's the very last upstroke of the measure. If I'm going down, down, up, up, down, up, is when I'm going to change chords. That's gonna to totally change it up and change the feel so it'll sound like this. Hey guys, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new lesson to YouTube. Thanks for subscribing. Now let's dive back in. So that's a totally different sound than what we were doing before with just changing on beat number one, right? Now we could also do this changing on beat number four instead of the and of four. To make this really easy, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do downstrokes and it's still G, D, E minor, C, but I'm gonna change to D on beat number four I'll change to E minor on one still, and then I'm gonna change to C on beat number four as well. And that is gonna give you a different sound and a different feel like this. And so by changing the chord at a different time, by changing it early, like on beat number four or the end of four, it's gonna totally change your chord progression, make it feel totally different. And that way you can use any chord progression, you can change it up just a little bit and make it feel better. Now, a great song that does this as a real example of a song that changes early like this is Everlong by the Foo Fighters, where in the chorus, all the chords change, even when it repeats the cycle, changes early instead of landing on beat one, like this. So 
So just by changing when you change your chords will spice up any chord progression, whether it's something that you're writing or you're covering a song, you wanna make it sound a little bit different. This is a great trick to have up your sleeve to make any chord progression sound better. Now, if you found this useful and helpful for you, then I have a gift for you that I want you to have as well. At my website, if you go to simpleguitar.com slash top 10, there I have a guide called the top 10 things to learn on guitar first. And it's 10 things I teach beginners all the time. And it's 10 things that will get you playing more real music a lot faster on the guitar. And so it's my gift to you for watching the video today and learning this trick about spicing up any chord progression. So go to simpleguitar.com slash top 10, download that guide for free as my thank you and have an awesome day. Have fun spicing up your chord progressions by changing your chords earlier. And I will catch you in the next video.